Today, you're going to learn how to keep users logged into your app even after they've closed the page. Setting this up can be tricky if you don't know how Bubble handles login expirations. But today, I'll show you how easy it is to keep users logged in after signing up, which will help your users get right to using your app with less friction. And the great part is you can implement this right away in just a few steps. I'm Gabby Roman, co-founder of Coaching No Code Apps, where we help CEOs and founders build custom software to start or scale their businesses. Let's dive right in. All right, so on my demo page here, I have two forms, one to sign up and one to log in. I'm gonna show you the two different methods you'll need to use in order to keep a user logged in, depending on the form that they go through, whether they're signing up for the first time or they're returning and they're just logging in. Something to know now is that Bubble will automatically log users out after 24 hours if they have not indicated that they want to stay logged in. That's the default period. So if you want to keep users logged in past that 24 hour period, then you'll want to follow these steps. Let's start with the login form. So let's say that your user is logged out and when they log in the next time, they want to indicate that they want to stay logged in. So I have a checkbox here as a part of the login form, so the user has control over this. So let's go to the workflow for this login button. I'm gonna go over to my workflow section, and when the button login is clicked, we'll run the log the user in action. Okay, so the setup is uh, standard, so you'll set the email field to your email input that you have on the page, the same for the password. Now, this field here, stay logged in, this is where you're going, you're going to tell Bubble whether the user uh, should stay logged in or not, and you're going to use the value of the checkbox uh, to change this to either yes or no, so that the options are here, yes or no, uh, but instead of saying always yes or always no, we're gonna set it to the checkbox. I'm gonna select that element now, and I'm gonna say checkbox is checked. All right, so we are making a statement here, and the statement will either be yes or no, it'll either be true or false. So if they leave the checkbox unchecked, then this statement is not true, right? Checkbox is checked, no, it's not. So this field will equal no, and the user will not stay logged in. If they check the box, then this statement is true. And so they will stay logged in past that 24 hour period. So all of that can be done within the login action um, with, you know, you're, you're already using it to log your users in. This just needs to be updated uh, so that Bubble knows what the user wants to do. Now, it's a little bit different for your signup flow. So if I go over to the workflow for my signup action, notice that there is no field here for keeping the user logged in. You might get confused with this field, remember the email, that's actually different. All that does is it will remember the last email address that the user typed into the email field, and the next time they come back to the page, it will pre-fill that for them. But that is different from keeping the user logged in. Okay, so what do we do? We don't have that option here. The way to work around this so that after sign up, the user can stay logged in past 24 hours is to run the login action immediately after as a step two. So I'm gonna do that now. I'll add under account the log the user in action. And I'm gonna use the same inputs from my email form because I don't want the user to have to type these in you know, multiple times. It will just run one action, then the next right after it. So for the email, I'm gonna use the sign up value and for the password, also the sign up password value there. And same thing to stay logged in, I'm going to use the value of the checkbox that I've made available in the signup form. Let me switch over there. So here I have a separate checkbox. I have these two forms on this one page side by side here so that you can see that they're two different forms. But in your application, you might have separate pages for these actions or you might only show one at a time. Uh, just make sure that you are referencing the right inputs. So for this checkbox, that's what's going to go here to remember, sorry, to stay logged in. This checkbox, again, is checked. So if they check it or don't check it, it will turn this expression, uh, it will evaluate it to either yes or no to keep them logged in or not. And with the login action, we do have that remember the email option that is also available in sign up. So you can do that um, in either place. Just make sure to um, keep it 
uh, actually, you want to make sure that you have it the same value in both actions because you don't want them to cancel each other out. So if you do say yes here, then you also have to say yes here. Uh, if you say yes here in step one and uh, leave step twos, remember the email blank, then uh, it will cancel it out and it will end up not remembering the email, even though you set it to yes in the step one version. So just make sure that those are matching. All right, I hope that helped you learn a helpful new technique for your app. With these steps that we went over, you should be able to keep your users logged in, whether they sign up or uh, log in after being logged out. If you learned something new today, go ahead and click the subscribe button right below this video so you can stay updated on every new video release. And if you want to take this way further, head to coachingnocodeapps.com and sign up for our free extended training series. It's completely free. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.